So we find ourselves here and we're gonna calibrate echo to echo using a carbon steel cal block. So as of right now, we're actually uh, good with our calibration. We're not that off. We're just a little off on, on that measurement. So we're gonna hit second function auto 80. And you can see we're pretty much on point with this. So in order for us to calibrate using echo to echo what we got to do is hit this next button right here we're gonna hit that and we got to move some settings here we're gonna go to gate uh two and we're gonna turn our second gate on and we're gonna hit this and it turns it on as you can see this is our second gate the level should be uh just slightly lower than the first gate we're going to leave it at 15% uh, level and per the procedures. Yeah, you know, that's where you got to check of what the levels of the gates should be. On my first gate, it's at 20 and my second gate is at 15. So you'd have to read your company procedures to see what they say about that. So for this purpose, we're actually going to do um, edge to edge. Uh, normally you have to do a uh, peak to peak and if let's say you wanted to do peak to peak all you have to do is change this to peak and this actually changes the first gate and then as you can see it moved it over here you go to your second gate and you hit peak to peak peak and peak peak to peak and uh, to turn on your echo to echo you actually hit here gate two and this uh, tracks gate one so at this moment you're you're actually tracking uh, echo to echo so depending on your company procedure what it says about coding I personally like to do peak to peak but for this purpose I'm just gonna use edge edge to edge normally it'd be best that you use uh, peak to peak because if the coding is despondent you actually get a nice uh, a better signal or more accurate signal if uh, uh, coding is despondent but it's the same concept edge to edge peak to peak so because we are calibrated edge to on edge on straight beam this is going to be easier for me to explain it to for you guys to understand where we're at so now that we're here we're gonna go to next and you're gonna hit this measure setup and then we're gonna go to reading setup and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually flip these digital displays so we got a uh, display one two three four and five boxes so all we're gonna do is swap the display two for the the fifth one we're gonna actually just swap those and this is the way you do it so gate two to gate one that's actually your echo to echo so you don't have to switch it you could just leave it as as it is but i'm gonna change it just so you guys get a bigger picture so right now i got a gate one it's gonna be basically reading my gate one and that's a straight beam so i'm gonna hit next and next and i'm gonna look for my gate one to gate two and as you can see i found it there we're gonna actually exit out all i did is basically flip these you still have your amplitude there which will be displayed right here amplitude your thickness your straight beam is measuring right here and your echo to echo thickness will be displayed right there so at this point you should actually have everything set up to do echo to echo so what we're going to do is we're going to hit this back button and it'll take us back to this display setting where our velocity and zero is at so our thickness measurement is right here with straight beam and our echo to echo is right there so what we're going to do is to stab this two right here and as you can see i have it on the two and our thickness measurement is actually pretty good it's at 0.202 and our um echo the echo function is actually off so in order uh, for us to fix that is because we're reading edge to edge so the edge is right on point on the first gate but it's not on where it should be on the second gate so we're gonna hit uh this next button it takes it to this gate setting so we hit this start and we're gonna move it as you can see it's already going back into place where it should be and we want to make sure that it's right on the gate where it should be me measuring on the gate so it's a little off but we could fine-tune it in a, uh, in a bit we just gotta mess with it 
So as you can see, that's the two. We're gonna check our three. And uh, actually our three seems to be pretty decent. So we're gonna go second function auto 80. So as you can see what I did there is I auto 80 to the second gate. So it's over here in our um, our peak is that our, our gate two is measuring this this portion of the reading so that's actually bad so what we got to do is i actually got to move it into place and right about there where it doesn't touch this it's very important for this gate to not be interfering with the first gate so what you want to do is um now is go to gate one and actually auto 80 that because this will give us a better accurate reading because it'll give us a good reading on the thickness and then on our auto on our echo echo so the advantage to having these two functions on is that you could be doing a bare pipe and you could actually see what the thickness is without the coating and you could see what the thickness is with the coating so subtracting the coating so that's what echo to echo does so we're going to go to the four we're going to see where we're at so we're actually kind of on point there we're not that off and we're over here we're actually more or less better as you can see we're right at the five so if we were to fine tune this a little bit all we'd have to do is really is uh go to back and it p puts us back to the display setting so we gotta move our um velocity and this velocity will actually move this a little bit so all we gotta do is then hit our zero offset it a little bit to change this and since it's increasing you just gotta mess with it and see where where we should be in order to be fine-tuned so as you can see now we're at three three should be pretty close to four it might be off by a little bit don't let that hurt you and as long as you're really really close you could actually get it perfect and um, sometimes it's really difficult for you guys to actually get it perfect because we are using a D790. And since it's a dual element, it actually fluctuates. So it's very difficult for it to be perfect, especially if this is not, um, if this is wore off. So, so as you can see, this one's actually been used for a while, but it's not that old. So it should actually give me quite of a accurate reading which is pretty much on tune i mean that's all, all that is i'm going to show you guys how to actually calibrate uh echo to echo peak to peak all we got to do is hit this next button and we find ourselves right here at the gate one and gate two so these should be on these this display as as this 20 percent and 15 percent for our purpose you could change that if you need to just depends on your company procedure so i went to g2 which is basically gate 2 and i switched that to peak as you can see it changed this now i'm gonna go to gate one and i'm gonna change that to peak and that's all you do to do to change uh peak to peak or edge to edge so right now we're actually calibrated to edge to edge so we're gonna actually calibrate to peak to peak so we hit this back button we're back home at the velocity and zero area so our since we were calibrated edge to edge our um our scope is going to be a little off and i'm going to show you that the reason why we're off is because let me see second function auto 80 as you can see um our straight beam this is our first gate which is this one straight beam is actually off because it's now reading the highest peak and we're gonna go to um, gate well we're gonna go here we're gonna go to gate second function auto 80 so it actually drops it right where we need to be so we can hit back so the reason why this is off is because when we had it on edge this little arrow right here was actually reading the display over here on this area and like same thing with this one it was reading right there that's why now it's actually reading the center the highest peak that's why it's off so now we gotta actually fine tune that so i'm gonna move my gate too just so it could be right where it needs to be at the highest peak area so i want to leave 
just enough space or room for this to actually hit the second peak so we're gonna go there so we're okay with that so now we're gonna do is hit back we're here so now we're gonna move our we're gonna move our zero and we're gonna fine-tune this as you can see it's only moving this and it's moving our peaks to the left but it's okay because it's getting close to where we need to be and as you can see we're kind of on point right there so second function auto 80 so as you can see our um, transducer is fluctuating it does that because it sometimes it wears off or it's a dual element it it does that kind of stuff so we're actually here with second function auto 80 as you can see we're actually pretty good and we're not that off i could live with that calibration so as you can see it's reading the highest peak and highest peak and if you want to fine tune it all you got to do is just mess with your velocity a little bit either go to the left or to the right scroll clockwise or counterclockwise yeah just move it a small increments and then move your zero and see what that does and if it's getting off by a little too much well then you just mess with that and then you just keep playing with it back and forth back and forth until you're you're just perfect and honestly guys that's that's all it is i mean you could keep on fine-tuning it until you have everything right on where it should say four five or point two or three and that's all it is you just gotta fine-tune these two settings and that's how you calibrate manually using an olympus epix uh 650 and that does it for the video please subscribe and like the video thank you